What are you gonna do when millions of people start to get victimized by starvation? Are you prepared to see famines emerging all across the globe? The skeptics that claim that we would find a way to muddle through the global food crisis somehow are just realizing that this is a much bigger problem we all imagined. Unpredictable extreme weather events are having an enormous impact on this year's food production. In 2023, there won't be enough food supplies for everyone on the planet, which means that hunger crises, shortages, and food insecurity will hit large parts of the global population and bring about unprecedented pain and despair to countless families around the world. And those issues are not exclusive to poorer nations. In today's video, we're going to expose that some of the same disasters that collapsed agricultural production in developing countries are also happening in the United States right now. But before moving on, please support us by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel so you can stay up to date with the most important news. While Americans worry about empty shelves, the World Health Organization is warning that millions of people in East Africa are under threat of starvation as drought, climate change, rising prices, and an ongoing civil conflict in northern Ethiopia are all contributing to worsening food insecurity. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus highlighted that more than 50 million people are facing acute food insecurity in the region this year. Moreover, a new study published by the World Food Program found that roughly 7 million children are suffering from malnourishment. And according to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, hundreds of thousands are leaving their homes in search of food or livelihoods. In Somalia, authorities are projecting that vegetable and grain production will decline by about 80% this year due to the abnormally dry weather. The current food security situation across the Horn of Africa is dire after four consecutive rainy seasons have failed, a climatic event not seen in at least 40 years or since the beginning of the satellite era. Jimember David Perry of the Food and Agriculture Organization said in a report released on Wednesday, typically the Horn of Africa has two rainy seasons per year, but for the last four have been exceptionally dry. In some regions of Somalia, it has not rained in two years, Reuters reported. This meteorological drought has resulted in a loss of soil moisture, caused waterways to dry up, and has led to the death of millions of livestock, UN researchers noted. Forecasts suggest that the September to December rainy season could also fail. This would set the stage for an unprecedented five-season drought. Even though authorities here in the U.S. don't seem at all too concerned about what's going on in Africa right now, they probably should, because conditions are starting to change here too. And American farmers and ranchers are also coping with the worst drought in the millennium dwindling water supplies, inflation, and the liquidation of beef cow herds. The western half of the country is experiencing the most extreme mega drought in 1,200 years. And withering pastures, a wrecking feed harvest, and endangering a quintessential way of life for the nation's agricultural production. Sizzling temperatures are forcing ranches to make an agonizing decision sell their cattle early for less money than they planned on, or hold on to their herds, pray for rain, and risk losing everything. At this point, the rate at which cattle are being sold in the U.S. is simply unprecedented. According to The Hill, over the past couple of weeks, the national cattle sale rate jumped to 120% above 2021 levels. That's an average that conceals even higher frenzies of sales in some markets. 
The sails are playing out against the background of declining rains and falling levels of underground water in the massive Ogallala Aquifer, which stretches beneath much of the Great Plains and which the region's vast agricultural footprint, much of it devoted to protein-rich feeds for cattle, is steadily and irrevocably soaking up, the article highlighted. We'll keep selling cows until it rains, said Texas High Plains Roger Jim Ferguson. The lack of water in general, it's hurting us all the way around, in any way you can think of, added cattle buyer Josh Sturgeon, noting that many farmers are even selling off their breeding stock, which they rely on to produce the next generation of cows. That's a big signal to me that future supplies are gonna run tight, he continued. At the moment, beef prices are soaring, and many households are cutting back on meat and seeking cheaper alternatives. In the short term, all of the cattle that are being slaughtered right now will help to control prices. But the outlook for 2023 is quite bleak, considering that the national cattle herd just keeps getting smaller and smaller. In fact, some beef producers are saying that ground beef prices could top $50 per pound next year. Thanks to the highest inflation in a generation, average ground beef prices are already about twice what they were in 2019. Estimates reported by Z94 News show that in 2021, it cost $200 to feed and raise a cow that would typically have a market value of $600. Imagine what the value will have to be when 2022's herds hit the same market seeking the same profit margin. If it costs $400 to feed and raise that same cow today, it'll need to fetch a finished price in a fair comparison because each farm and ranch in America is a small business that must profit to survive or cease to exist, the paper noted. Imagine. How many American families will be unable to afford ground beef when prices jump to $50 per pound? If even the cheapest meat cuts are seeing massive price hikes despite the recent supply increase, we can expect to pay significantly more expensive prices for a series of other products, given that supplies have been steadily shrinking. At this point, the ongoing drought is not only affecting food supply chains, but many other sectors of the economy. On Tuesday, the Wall Street Journal reported that the extreme weather is forcing cotton farmers to abandon millions of acres that have produced so little cotton that they're no longer worth harvesting. Farmers will harvest an estimated 7.13 million acres, abandoning approximately 5.35 million acres due to an ongoing drought hammering southern U.S. states representing an estimated abandonment rate of 42.87%, according to the National Cotton Council of America, who based their analysis on the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, data. Now, this represents the smallest harvest by area since 1868, the report showed. The economic impacts of the cotton shortage are going to be felt in a variety of industries, with the gin in warehousing and milling industries that process cotton all being the most immediately affected. Cotton also accounts for 90% of the materials in denim goods, such as jeans, and shrinking supplies mean that U.S. consumers will be paying higher prices for clothing in 2023. Unless rain comes along, farmers will have to continue to abandon or destroy their crops in the months ahead. In California, the situation is creating a tomato shortage with farmers abandoning fields as crops turn to dust amid a water crisis. The news came as Idaho farmers revealed that the next food insecurity problem that may impact Americans' eating habits could be an emerging potato shortage. According to Zero Hedge analysts, now there appears to be another issue. Tomato supplies are getting squeezed as the state's water reservoirs dry up. We desperately need rain and are getting to a point where we don't have inventory left to keep fulfilling the market demand. Mike Montner, head of the California Tomato Growers Association, told Bloomberg. 
It's real tough to grow a tomato crop right now, Martner continued, adding, on one side you have the drought impacting costs because you don't have enough water to grow all your acres, and then you have the farm inflation side of it, with fuel and fertilizer costs shooting up. Bloomberg noted that the value for a ton of tomatoes reached an all-time high this year of $105 due to high input prices such as diesel and fertilizer compounded with the drought. The expert said, you would think that it was a home run for growers, but in reality, the input costs have gone up so much that the potential profit was all gobbled up. Over the past four weeks, shows the price of tomato sauce jumped 17% from a year ago, while ketchup prices surged 23%. All tomato and potato-based products will experience sharp price increases as the crisis accelerates. Of course, the issues we've touched on in this video are just the tip of the iceberg. All around the planet, agricultural production is going to be way down this year, and we will be facing the repercussions of that decline in 2023. It goes without saying that we won't find a way to muddle through a global food crisis. If you have been a skeptic of reports of food shortages and famine, take a second look and reassess the problem once again. Because the latest developments make it clear that things are getting out of control right now. We really are in the cusp of a devastating global crisis, and the coming months are going to be filled with despair. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this message with friends and family, and if you find our content informative, we strongly recommend you check out Seven Year Apocalypse, the latest book by the economist and financial expert, Mr. Michael Snyder. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the bell to always get our notifications.